Throughout history, men have been involved in the caring arts. In the Middle Ages, various male religious orders were formed, such as the Knights Hospitaller, the Knights of St John, and the Knights of Lazarus. It's only been in recent times that nursing has been a profession dominated by women. Today, young men are now taking advantage of the benefits of a nursing career, as it still offers a challenging and rewarding career for those who continue to care for the sick and infirmed. Nursing initially wasn't uh, for me. It's something that I probably, when I was going through high school, didn't really even consider. You know, I thought, oh, whatever. Had no direction, went to uni just to do a course. In the end, it really comes down to what, what job works for you, and if it works, you do it. Um, it really has worked for me. I went to a, a friend at the time, and uh, he said, look, what are the three most important things for you? A good friend of mine um, told me there was a ratio of uh, seven women to one bloke at university if you did nursing, so um, I thought that was pretty good odds. I was one out of 20 or 25 female nurses. <laughs> Money, women and uh, travel. And he said, I can get you two of those things, the other one you're going to have to work at. It's, I love nursing from the first day I started, as much as today I'm doing it now. It, it's a terrific career for young people. There's so many options, there's such a variety of nursing. You can be a cardiac nurse, a neuro nurse, theatre nurse. To wards community-based. Uh, you could get into the ambos, you could become a flight nurse. There's, always, there's lots of things going on and you, within, within the workplace you can do um, there's expressions of interest where you can work in different areas so if you're in one area and you get a bit bored with it you can move over to another area or secondments. There's opportunities throughout the world for anybody that's got a nursing qualification. Yeah, I do enjoy the travelling. Nursing can take you anywhere in the world. You can, you can travel everywhere. Um, and you'll never be without a job. It's all exciting. Everything's a different day, different problem, different uh, outcome. Mental health is challenging. It's not for the faint-hearted. You don't know what you're going to get. There tends to be more men in mental health um, purely because it is a safety issue. I've worked in forensic settings in the UK in a place called Broadmoor, working with the criminally insane. I dealt with people who were addicted to heroin, uh, people addicted to uh, prescription medication. This psychotic patient thought the, the world was going to end if he um, saw the sunrise, so he um, thought he was being a humanitarian and saving the world, so he pulled out his eyes and swallowed them. In this particular weekend, it seemed that everyone was mowing their lawns. Well, we must have had about three or four people that, for some reason, were, were, while the lawnmower was going, they were putting their fingers in trying to clear it out. And uh, yeah, there was probably a whole handful of fingers that sort of came in, uh, in different plastic bags and all the rest. Working with the Royal Flying Doctor Service just recently, we had to go and pick up a baby, um, a toddler, um, from a West Australian town who was bitten by a snake. He suffered a stroke in a train, so he comes in my ambulance and he's unconscious, uh, bleeding profusely from his nose and the doctor had to put a tube down his throat to help him breathe. It took us around two hours to stabilise him. Being my first critical patient, I had to go uh, talk to the to his wife outside, who was, uh, you know, in tears. You've got to be just moving, 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 quick, quick, quick. Saving someone's life in a couple of minutes is a fantastic feeling. But the highlight of the whole thing was uh, five months later, I meet them down at the cinemas, and so the couple is there, and the husband is there, and so he doesn't know me because he was unconscious. So. Uh, she sees me from back down the popcorn aisle and she comes running and, oh hey, uh, see that's my husband and uh, she just thanks me for everything I did. That's when I kind of, uh, you know, thought I'd stick with the emergency nursing. It helps if you can work in a team and be used to team environments, hence the rugby background helped me really, always being part of a team. Where I work in Royal Perth in the surgery, there's um, some of the best surgeons in the world. There's like uh, Fiona Wood, who's a renowned burn surgeon. Um, being able to work with her on uh, burns victims, especially ones that have had you know 60, 70 percent of their their bodies um, affected, um, it's been very, very rewarding to see those uh, her work in such a dynamic environment. It's nice to get some sort of reward or feedback for your work, and with nursing you get it every day. People just come up and shake your hand. Just doing what we do is, uh, you know, it requires a lot of compassion and caring for someone who you don't know. That requires a calling and. Not everyone has it. And it just makes your day. It's just to get that good feedback. I never really got that in chefing. You just got slammed with orders. 
as I said, it's a pass. One, if you have a passion for traveling and seeing different places, experiencing different cultures, working with different people and different systems, how things are done, it's an ideal opportunity. I would definitely recommend this to anyone who wants to work in the health industry. Anyone who's interested in any medical background or and people, if you like working with people, definitely recommend it. I think it's a great career because it really allows you, as one of my teachers um, said to me once, to uh, really influence the history of a single man, woman or child. Um, it allows you to make a tangible difference in someone's life, in the community, in the healthcare system, that sort of thing. I live in a fantastic area, I live on Cable, near Cable Beach in Western Australia. I'm a member of the, beach, the Surf Life Saving Club. I play touch footy, I play badminton, I play five-a-side soccer. I can't think of one day in my nursing career from 30 years ago to today where I've not come out of it with a real feel-good factor at the end of the day. And you do get satisfaction from uh, seeing often people become better and become well.